Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use the fgets method. So the fgets method is used to read a line from a stream. So a stream is a bunch of text. You could be getting that text from a variable specifically. Maybe you've hard coded it. You, be, you could be getting it from the user. So they're inputting something. I'll be doing that in a separate video. What we're going to be doing is getting it from a file. So we're going to be doing a bit of file opening as well. So I guess this is technically a file opening video. I'm going to have more videos covering file management you know, right into reading from that sort of stuff creating files so feel free to check them out so this really isn't a file management video we'll do we'll be doing some file stuff but it's not really you know about files so first of all create a file i'm going to call it file.txt and put it everywhere if you want obviously just put the appropriate path when you do this is just with the main.c file and what i'm going to do is just Google lorem ipsum, which is the old Latin text that is used in a lot of well, you know, example websites, for example. So you can get a rough idea of what things look like. So let's just copy this. So feel free to Google this. I'll provide a link in the description. And there we go. Save that. And now what we're going to do is just code the fgets. So I just want to just mention the fgets basically runs until one of three conditions is met, whichever comes first. You're going to specify how many characters he wants to read. So you see that if that condition is met, it hits a new line character, basically the end of a line or end of a file. So whichever you know condition is met first will essentially stop the f gets from reading any more data okay so first of all you need to do hash include stdio.h as usual and in here we're going to create a file call it a file it's going to be a pointer so asterisk again i'll have more videos covering stuff like pointers references that sort of stuff just go with me for now and we're going to create a array of characters or per length of, I mean, a size of 60. It's up to you. Now we're going to do file equals f open, open parenthesis, quotation mark. Now the path to your file relative to the main.c because it's in the same place. Put file.txt and close quotation mark, comma, open quotation mark. R for reading, close quotation mark, close parenthesis, and semicolon. Okay, so we're going to go on a new line, put if, parenthesis, null, double equals, file, close parenthesis, new line, and we're going to open some curly braces. So this is just, again, I was saying I was going to do much the way of explaining file stuff for now, but this is just checking has the file successfully opened. If it hasn't, then we're going to put in these curly braces, p, error, open parenthesis, quotation mark, I'm just going to say error when opening file. And close quotation mark, close parenthesis, semicolon, close the curly braces as well. And actually we want to do one other thing. If it hasn't opened it, we're going to say return minus one, just so, you know, it quits. Obviously, in a real world application, you might handle it a bit different. You might provide the user with some sort of error message. Okay, so now what we're going to do, now that we've actually hopefully successfully opened the file, we're going to say if f gets and open parenthesis in here, I'm going to put str. So this is the, the actual array where we're going to be storing all the data, comma. And let's say if we put five, actually let's put 60 in here. So this is the length, the amount of max character that you want to read, comma. And then you specify the file pointer and close parenthesis, close parenthesis, quotation equals null. And actually, let me have it the other way around. I prefer it using Yoda conditions like so. We're looking pretty good. Okay, new line, curly brace, printf. Now we're just going to put open quotation mark, 
percent s so it's expecting some sort of string close quotation marks comma ampersand str close parentheses semicolon and now we're going to close the file after the curly brace f close file like so and a vulgar return zero already got it so we should be good to go let's give that a save uh, put this up a bit run it and here we go it's red well 60 characters just bear in mind when i put i'll demonstrate if i put in five for example no no let me put let me put in five save that run it and we get four characters so it's basically going up to you know the fifth character but it's not including that one. so just bear that in mind so that's it so that's what f gets does it's getting a line of text from this file point and putting it into this string like i said this is the maximum number of characters it will stop reading characters when one of three conditions is met it's either read this number of characters it's either got to the end of the file or it hits a new line character basically if for example i was to put this as let's put this as 600 let me go to file.txt let me i'd put like l5 and there's new lines after that and then if i was to go to do do so this is i'll leave that 60 and i'll try and read 60 characters i'll give that a run we just get l5 because it tried to read 60 characters but it didn't hit the end of the file before the 60 characters i mean before the 60 characters were read, but it hit a new line. And that new line could be the same even if it was like that, because it's still a new line. So if I was to run that to now, we should still get the same as L5. So that's how you use fget. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. Almost 4,000 members on there now. Loads of programming channels. There's always about 300 or so members online. People helping each other. It's a really nice community. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.